In this video, we're going to continue using picture elements, but now we're going to use picture elements that are different proportions. So in the previous video, we had two slides and both of the images were the same dimensions. Now we're going to take the second image and we're going to swap it out for um, one of the original versions of it so it's a little bit slightly uh, more square. So now the second slide is the, sec the second slide image is a very different proportion than the first slide image. And if we go to preview this, we could see in the slideshow when it swaps from slide to slide, when it goes from slide one to slide one to slide two, the height of the whole carousel is changing, which I personally find this to be pretty undesirable. Now, if you don't mind the height of the carousel, the height of the slideshow changing back and forth between each slide, then you don't need to do anything special. But if you find that um, kind of distracting and you want to kind of contain the images, then that's what this video is going to be all about. So as we can see, we have the slide one, we have the slide two. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the slide that has the widest image. In this case, it happens to be slide one. It's not necessarily the slide that has the, the shortest image because the, it's more about the proportion. So you need to find the slide that has the widest image. Um, <clears throat> and in this case, we're going to um, adjust the height of the image for each of the breakpoints. So what I like to do is, again, go to the slide with the, with the widest image, and I like to take this down to the smallest um, width that I typically design for. And for me, I usually kind of adjust keeping, uh, usually try to figure out 320 pixels is about the smallest I kind of uh, worry about for maybe a small mobile device. So in this case, we're going to click on the picture element image. And um, over here in the dimensions on the right hand side, we are going to uncheck the max height and we're going to put in a specific max height. Now I'm going to lower this until the image, you, we could start visually seeing it getting a little bit smaller. I'm not really sure where that will be. So I'm going to start with 100. I'm just going to raise this up until it doesn't get any bigger anymore. All right, so it's about 155. I'm going to drop that. Let's just, I'll max that at 150. So um, this image will be at 150 pixels um, at for a max height for this entire breakpoint. So I'm going to, for the, for the minimum height, I'm also going to put that down as 150 as well. Um, and now we can see as, as this, um, this slideshow is within this breakpoint, the height of that image won't change. Now we can adjust this when we go to a larger breakpoint. So I'm going to go right up to the next breakpoint and I'm going to uh, once again raise the, uh, the height of this image for the max height until it really doesn't get any bigger anymore. So we're at 250. Let's drop this down to an even number. Let's say 250. And I'm going to put the, the minimum height also at 250. And we could do the same thing for our third breakpoint. So we go to the breakpoint. And when I'm at those breakpoints, I you want to kind of go to the smallest area of those breakpoints. So um, I'm not sure what this will be. Let's say 500. That might be a little too big. Let's see. Well, let's keep it at 485. And we'll adjust the minimum height to 485 as well. So we have um, the three uh, breakpoints set for the height of that image. And um, now that we have that, let's just go ahead and I'm going to put in um, a, a height for the the slide element as well. So not the picture element, now we're clicking onto the slide element. Now in the slide element we have a padding of 15 and 15. So um, this picture element is going to be contained within that. Right now we have this at 150, so I'm going to raise, uh, put the height of the, the slide element to 150 plus 80. So we're going to bump this down to a minimum height of 180, just to kind of lock it in there. And uh, this is 250, so we're going to do a minimum height of 250 plus 30, so we're at 280 for that. And you shouldn't see a height change, but I'm just kind of like locking that in there. So if for some reason uh, that element uh, shifts a little bit, the, the slide element behind it doesn't change. Um, and this, this one we have uh, 45. So... Uh, let's 
five fifteen for that. Okay. Um, now that we have that set, what we could do is um, kind of take note of the height of this first breakpoint for this picture element. So we have 150 min height, max height. So we're going to go to slide two now. And on that, we're going to put those same values in here. So 150 and uncheck max height for that. Oop, I'm sorry, I had that width in there. That, that should be. Okay, so uh, we have uh, a minimum height 150, max height 150. On the second breakpoint, let's check what our size was. Our second breakpoint was 250 for min height, max height. So we're going to click on the picture element 250, 250. Uh, and we had this uh, switched over. Let's. Uh, We're going to adjust those settings in a minute for the, the, the minimum width as well. And then on the third breakpoint, we had a minimum height and max height of 485. So let's go back to slide two. We're going to switch this to 485 for our minute and max heights. Um, now that we have that in there, the slide height is not going to change between the elements. There is there are two more things that I'd like to do. So first, um, we can see that this text is now um, not fitting with inside this photograph because it's, it's much narrower. So I'm just going to drop the size of this so it's a little bit more appropriate for that photograph size. Just the size of, of the text on this breakpoint as well. And then the third breakpoint, we could just probably leave it there. So now we can go back to slide one. The only other thing I, I do like to do is um, for right now we have we don't have anything set for a minimum width, and um, I do find find sometimes that sometimes the images don't display correctly if you don't set a minimum width for uh, these images. So let, let's put that in there. I'm gonna basically put a value in so it doesn't. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I'm going to put a value in for the max width. All right, so let's start with maybe 300. And I'm going to drop this down until it fits the size of the actual slide. And you could you could kind of see um, the guide for the picture element right here. And as we lower this number from 294, we're dropping it. It's going to get slowly to the same size as the picture. And you want to stop when it gets to the point where it's making the picture uh, slightly cropped. So I'm going to leave this at 282. And then we're going to do the same thing on, on this on this one. So this one now we want to raise the max width so it lets the picture fill it completely. So 472, let's see. 470 sound looks pretty good. And on this one, we can raise this one a lot. And again, you can see a hint of the guide along the bottom. And we're just raising this until the picture completely fills the guide without getting any bigger anymore. So let's leave that at 912. And we're just going to go to slide two, and we're going to do the same thing as far as setting um, the max width. So we're going to go to the first breakpoint, the max width. I believe this is a square image, so I'm just going to try 150. I think that looks good. And the second breakpoint. max width and we'll set 250. And the third breakpoint, 485. 
these are just these min widths are just carrying over from when I put that when I put the number in there by mistake earlier. So that that could be if you want to set that to fifty or whatever, or you know any number is fine. So forty five. Actually, this looks like it might be. Yeah, I guess forty five is good. Okay, so let, let's go ahead and preview this now. Preview this now and see what we get. And uh, all right, so we're going from slide to slide. You could see now. You could see that the slides are not changing the height of the whole entire carousel every time it switches from slide to slide. So we're at the largest breakpoint. If we go down to the mid breakpoint now, again, it's same thing. The slide is uh, staying consistent within that breakpoint, but the si the size of the entire uh, carousel is not changing uh, as the slide rotates. And again, on the on the First and the smallest breakpoint, it's doing the same thing. So if you have a reason to keep um, the slides um, the same height, go ahead and do this. If you, if for some reason you want your slides to be different heights um, for each of the slides and it doesn't bother you, you don't have to do any of these steps. But I kind of find that this way it uh, makes for a much better presentation. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Hope we found it useful.